Hey guys, Paul here. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to do YouTube end screens. Quick theory on a um, uh, quick tutorial on how to, how to add a little bit of um, connection to the end of your videos. Once somebody's finished watching your video, you want them to go somewhere else. They've just got rid of annotations, which is where you put um, blocks up, or you know, that. You put a block on to say some message, go to this website or whatever, they're getting rid of that. So now that what they're saying is you can only do end screen. So if I play this video and anything else at the end of this business, video, it's, it's great to get rid of the like last paper 15 or 18 share, seconds, you're going to uh, see there you go, collaborate. The pop up. So these are now actor interactive a subscribe button, visit my website go to this video. So this video was a tutorial for 2016 Trello. Here's a link to the to the Trello 2017. I should change the title. It actually says Business 2017, right? Um, and an introduction video. So I want them all to go to my free training video to see, to show, show them my training website. And then hopefully on that will be uh, come to my website. In fact, so it might be a good idea to, that we do that. So if I go to this one, Guys, Paul here. I want to, I'm not sure. Oh, I did. I put a, I put an end screen on it, right? So there is an end screen. So let's do something else. Let's go to another video. So I'm gonna, I'm doing them in order. So I've done that one. I've done that one. Let me do this one. So how to mass unfollow 2016, right? I'm gonna open a new tab so I know where I am. So I'm going through them all now. At the top, you'll see end screen and annotations. I've got this um, this video vidIQ app that I use that tells me the SEO score and one of the things I see is at least one end screen is is it boosts your search engine score as well. I don't know why that is but it says it does so I believe them. Anyway end, end screen and annotations you're gonna go to this right so this one's got one let me just delete it so what you can do we delete all these elements. You can put four elements in there. And that can be view a playlist, view a video, put your latest video in there, website, subscribe. Um, but I'll go through it. So what you can do, if you've got a template, you can use one you've already used, um, which is put boxes in certain places. Uh, oh, it doesn't like the aspect ratio. So maybe there, there are set templates on YouTube if your video is a certain uh, way. So it's showing the last 20 seconds you can use. You can put these videos in whenever you want. You might say, I only want to, I only want to show it for the last 10 or the last, you know, the last five seconds. So it's really up to you how you um, set it up. But we're gonna walk, we'll, we'll walk through it. Import from a video, right? So I know if I wanted to, I could import from that video we've just seen, as long as the right is the same, and it just drops in those same elements. So if you've already done it once, you can, um, go in and do it again but again let me get rid of these so yeah what I'm saying is once you've done one video and if it's a set template for every one you use you can just import from that video but anyway this is where you're gonna be number on your first one so what I want them to do is come to that video of my membership scheme first so I'm gonna go um, video or playlist do I want to show my most recent Best for viewer, so obviously YouTube have some algorithm that has a recommended on one of my videos for them. Choose a video or playlist. Now it happened that my my membership video is the, my latest video, but you can just scroll down and pick whichever video you want, right? So first of all, I'm gonna pick that video, right? And I make this one the biggest because that's really what I want them to do. And I put it in the top corner. Introducing my 100% free online training website, right? Then I put in, so this was uh, a Twitter video, so I could then add some sort of video. I could, I've actually got, um, I've actually got a playlist. Oh, crikey. Can't believe I just said crikey. Uh, I've actually got a Twitter playlist, I think. So let me go to my channel. Uh, playlist. I think I started doing a video series on on Twitter. Facebook tutorial, WordPress. Twitter for beginners, right? So this is my my Twitter for beginners tutorial. I don't know if it wants the whole link. Play, yeah, playlist, so create an element. So if I put in, so now, oh, there you go. 
So now that's oh, so now that's got that playlist. So that's a Twitter video, and then I've got a playlist that's Twitter for beginners. So I put that up there. I have to be careful because the box is sometimes too big, but I'll show you why. Twitter for beginners, nine videos playlist, right? Now I'm going to put a subscribe uh, image. Put it in there. And then I'm going to put a visit my website link, right? So you can put, you have to, you have, it, it, I can't remember where you put these, where it knows, but anyway. So paulnicholson.com, I can just pick it or just type in that URL at the top. Put in, brilliantly, I must have something spelled wrong on my website that I do keep meaning to change. I'm going to change this image to one I've got, which is my Facebook profile. Uh, select call to action, learn more, visit. Let's have visit, right? Create element. I'm going to drag that over to here and save, right? I'm going to click preview. That I connect with, I will be. And they all show and I'll be one time with you. So you can give me a follow, like I say, if visit. You, um, so that. if I was really good, what I would do at the end of my videos, or I would create a clip that was five or 10 seconds long that said, check out my free training, but then this might change. Check out my latest video, then, then give a space. Check out uh, another related video. Give me a subscribe um, and visit my website. So what I would might maybe they would then say, introducing. So if I went to introducing and then Twitter for beginners, subscribe so you see how you can drag it off so this shows whenever you want so i could say go visit, I with, uh, check out I my free be, membership um, be, video be with you. check out another so playlist i've got follow, for you like i say if you give me a subscribe uh, offer value and it would be awesome if you connect, visited me on my uh, website and, spam the hell out uh, of me, and, and i'll see you all again back. soon right? Right, so if, that's, if you did it that way so let me do it again i'll show you again so check out my membership video. I've got 100% free membership site. Come and check my latest playlist for Twitter. Give me a subscribe, that'd be amazing. Uh, and come and check my website. All, all the cool, cool stuff happens on my website. Thanks for watching, see you all again soon. You see, and then that'd be dropping in, this is what I want you to do, this is what I want you to do, this is what I want you to do next. So at the end of your video, they're not just getting that YouTube recommended videos they're getting um they're getting you saying why don't you come and visit me why don't you come and check my twitter feed or come and hook me up on twitter or whatever it might be so what you want is maybe a 10 second video or 15 second video that you add to ev at the end of all your videos that drops in that why don't you come and visit me at my website why don't you uh, check my um Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think you get what I'm saying and you can just drop them in one at a time or you can hit them straight up. You know, you can feed it in, you can drop one out. Right, with these bars you can, as one drops in, you can drop one out. You can, you know, just so it really, it so it really um, hits what you're saying, you can, you know, come and visit my training website. Be great to see you there. Find my Twitter playlist and the website video drops out. Come and subscribe and then the Twitter drops out. Uh, come and visit my website and the subscribe button drops out. So you can see it's really easy to do. Um, once you've done that, then you go to another video and you can click import from that video. So once you've done it once, you can go and, and you know click. I could in theory just go import like I showed you before from this video. And it, and it imports all those elements uh, to, and changes those elements to whatever I want it to be, right? So, all fun. It's really good to I think to, to maximize your video. I think it's going to be worth just spending that little bit of time um, and tinkering with that end screen and see, you know, pushing people around. If you've got a part one of a video and then part two somewhere, then obviously make make the the, the end screen say, right, visit part two of this video. Uh, make it more obvious. Uh, I think you can have fun with it, and I think I think it'll be a lot of value for you and your YouTube channel if you um, 
optimize those videos. So uh, I should probably end with check out my free website training. Here it comes. Check out uh, my latest video. Give me a subscribe. Come and visit me on my website. <laughs> Hopefully that all popped up at the right time. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Cheers.